our sermon, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakurash, Dev honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and citations to all the right to Akim, Wa'akwath, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another video for the spirit. All right, now I'm going to get rid of this little thing in the corner in a minute. You know, uh, I drive for a living, you know, forgive me, y'all, but I just need to be able to know where I'm going. <laughs> But I came across this clip now, and we're going to let it play. And earlier this morning, y'all, I actually just watched the movie called Dracula Untold, which a particular brother in our camp, he really enjoys the movie. And there's one thing that he, you know, something that he enjoys about it a lot is the fact that it deals with reincarnation. And that's what this little clip in front of us has, which is what we're going to play, all right? There's this song that even another brother in the L.A. camp used, um some time ago in a chariot video the woman is singing you know about reincarnation and it is it's, it's, a, it's a simple fact of the matter it explains a lot of we'll say regularities that you see in history why did certain things keep happening in the same way just look into your own family tree ask your parents questions your grandparents questions you got the same couple of you know events that happen in the family this family member went and got big and got majored and then then they was an idiot and blew it all and died a dope fiend or whatever you know you yourself we we find ourselves attracted to things or des desirous of things and we don't even know why say for instance your favorite color you know meanwhile all your homies they favorite color was a certain color you don't know your favorite color was a particular color because it's always been your damn favorite color, all right? There's a certain type of woman you like. You don't even know why. A certain type of build, a certain type of height, a certain type of hair. And it's, it's deeper than, you know, just the flesh, y'all. We dealing with the spirit, so let's let it roll. What's a conspiracy theory that absolutely blows your mind? Not exactly sure if this is conspiracy theory, but I read this about six months ago. Um, what if when we die, the light at the end of the tunnel is a light to another hospital room? There we are born, and the only reason you come out crying is because you remember Holy everything crap. from your past life, and you're crying at the fact that you died and lost everything. As you grow and start to forget your past life, and you focus on the life you have now, but patches of memory stay behind, and that mind. memory causes deja vu. Hey, right there y'all and he basically just summed it up without using the scriptures which I'm gonna sum it up using the scriptures you now the light that you're seeing at the end of the tunnel that parabolic phrase it may not necessarily be the new doctor's hospital you're being born in because you're not us humans we're not just born immediately all spirits do what when human beings die whether you are Israelite or not let's get that real quick all right right here out of Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 one second, all right, it says, uh, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. All right, this is talking about the life and death cycle. The human body, when you die, it decays and turns to dust, to minerals, because we are composed and comprised of minerals. And then your spirit returns to, for lack of better term, the spiritual realm, heavens, if you will, when you read in the scriptures, all right? where it rests and then you are sent back down to live out your next life and like the dude was saying in the clip as you're living your next life you know the things of the past you forget all right not saying you know we don't have any shit i'll get that real quick former things we don't remember the former things so i can me type it in former things because if you did we'd be out here breaking prophecy we'd be out here breaking the law you know we'd be we'd be doing things out of order and you know just imagine if you could remember what it feels like to die hundreds of times you know being choked stabbed drowned being whipped you know the memories of watching your woman and your children get took advantage of and slaughtered in front of you you know, you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to continue on a life like that. So the Heavenly Father wipes our memory clean so you can live again. Wow, right here. Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. It says, uh, there is no remembrance of former things, neither 
Slovakia. Uh, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are come down Slovakia. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Right there. Okay. You know, so basically, you don't remember the things that happened in your past. All right. And to, to trying to word it good. Con slack you. All right. Did Jake know where they going now? <laughs> All right, uh, so basically, you won't remember the things of the past or right, in your current life, and you can't jump ahead and grab things that are outside of your knowledge unless the Lord is dealing with you by way of prophecy, all right? And it's, and it's, it's just as simple as that, you know? Now, let me get to Job real quick. Y'all already know where I'm going, just to further back it up, and I'm going to let that clip play again. You know, nothing too deep, but certain things that even people in the world can understand them so how much more should we understand them and be able to articulate it and break it down when the need arises all right and we're about to read these verses in job chapter 3 we're going to go through uh we're going to go from 11 through 19 now this was job lamenting and crying basically you know begging the lord you know why even let me be born it would have been better for me to remain unalive and in the spiritual realm with everybody else all right so let's let's see what he had to say job 3 and 11 why died i not from the womb why did i not give up the ghost when i came out of the belly meaning what why didn't he rather just die than to grow up and to, and to see and live through the suffering that was determined upon him it says why did the knees prevent me or why the breast that i should suck for now should i have lain still and been quiet i should have slept then had i been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth which built desolate places for themselves or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver right there you know so he's telling you had i had died and been in the spiritual realm i would have been with everybody else because that's where everyone goes heathen alike righteous and the wicked it's just as simple as that you know there's no if ands or there's no if ands or buts to it you know you don't die and burn in a land forever that's you know it's 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 so hot it can burn a spirit vocab you got to address these couple of verses what was he talking about it says or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver or as in hidden untimely birth i had not been as infants which never saw light there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest there the prisoners rest together they hear not the voice of the oppressor the small and the great are there the servant is and the servant is free from his master right there showing the duality you have people who are nothing in society in the spiritual realm and people who are great people who are slaves and people who are warriors and kings people who are righteous and people who are wicked there is no divination in the spiritual realm in terms of where the wicked go to heaven and the where the wicked go to hell and the righteous go to heaven all go into one place and rest until it is time to be born again theory that absolutely blows your mind not exactly sure if this is conspiracy theory but i read this about six months ago um what if when we die the light at the end of the tunnel is a light to another hospital room there we are born and the only reason you come out crying is because you remember oh, everything crap. from your past life and you're crying at the fact that you died and lost everything oh. as you grow and start to forget your past life you focus on the life you have now but patches of memory stay behind and that memory causes deja vu and deja vu is something i'm pretty sure that all of y'all you know i myself included have experienced because all we're waiting on is the manifestation you know of uh, of, of yahweh shai of yahweh bahashem uh yahweh shai bahashem rakakurash the full scope if you will think the victory was already accomplished in the spirit now we're waiting on it in the physical all right, and now I, you know, the people who are in the world carnal, they're they're not gonna get uh, get it. All right, the spiritual things belong into the spiritual, and the carnal into the carnal. So if you have someone who doesn't want to understand it, well, you know, ultimately fuck them. But the scriptures say what they say, and it's been made clear. Now let's get an example out of the Lord's mouth.
to acknowledge it nor accept it nor want to some of these people don't want to believe in reincarnation it's in, it's in several other spots second address other spots in Ecclesiastes even in Hebrews you are born you die you go to the spiritual realm and you're born again and depending on how you lived in your past life the Heavenly Father will set up judgments for you in your next life so you, if you are a debaucherous you know bati boy you know beast the Lord may set it up to where a person is born and the dude don't have no function of his genitals and that's his punishment because in his past life he wasn't doing nothing righteous with his genitals all right matter of fact I'm gonna get a scripture to back that up all right but this is Matthew 11 and 13 it says for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John and if ye will receive it if ye will understand it this is Elias which was for to come he that hath ears let him hear right there Yahushai said it himself in red letters that John the Baptist was Elias which is Elijah which was prophesied to come it was that same spirit of Elijah was the spirit that was in the flesh of John the Baptist the only difference is it was new bodies the same spirit with diff different names and if vocab and a scoffer doesn't want to get it fuck them now these two verses right when you're dealing with you understand that he ended up uh dying of a disease but why did the heavenly father afflict him in this manner in particular let's see second maccabees 9 and 8 it says but the lord almighty the god of israel smote him with an incurable and, and invisible plague or as soon as he had spoken these words a pain of the bowels that was remediless came upon him and sore torments of the inner parts and that most justly for he had tormented other men's bowels with many and strange torments right there so the heavenly father got antiochus back in a similar manner that he did people he was out here hey y'all know how them greeks got down you know they wasn't they, they, they wasn't fans of women they liked it menses <laughs> they liked it rearranging a man's guts if you will all right and also the fact that antiochus was known for torturing his enemies and so the Heavenly Father did what? Tortured his ass from the inside fucking out. That's how the Heavenly Father gets down. That's why you'll have people that are born into this world to where if you look at their life, it seems like they were only born to die or born to suffer. And that's true. The Heavenly Father allowed them to be born to make them suffer for what they did in their past. It's as simple as that. All right. So I'm going to let it play one more game. What's a conspiracy theory that absolutely blows your mind? Not exactly sure if this is conspiracy theory, but I read this about six months ago. Um, what if when we die, the light at the end of the tunnel is a light to another hospital room? There we are born, and the only reason you come out crying is because you remember oh, everything crap. from your past life, and you're crying at the fact that you died and lost everything. As you grow and start to forget your past life, and you focus on the life you have now, but patches of memory stay behind, and that mind. memory causes deja vu. You know, so hey, he, he, he summed it up in a pretty good little fashion now whether he believes the bible or not i don't know but he, you know right there and then and we don't remember the past fully in detail y'all because we, we would remember we were israelites you know it wouldn't have, it, it's all all to carry out prophecy y'all you got to pull back and look at the bigger picture why rather than always trying to question yahweh bashim yahweh shai just be thankful and be glad that you know what you know and understand what you understand while the worst of the world wanders in darkness. All right, you got to think we had to forget everything. Otherwise, prophecy wouldn't have been able to be fulfilled the way that it had to be fulfilled. All right, so I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechach Rash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Uh, while Akwath, learning and teaching truth and sincerity, I'm going to say Shalom.